It's easy for a teenager to start a career at age 18 after learning a trade or skill. The Mahoning County Career and Technical Center is seeing more students trying to get that kind of career training. First News Weekend anchor Megan Lee has been looking into the reason enrollment is up. She joins us live from the campus in Canfield. Megan. MCCTC has been around for almost 50 years, and I'm told enrollment is the highest it's been in quite some time. Now, I'm told that the programs here just really set the students up for success, and everyone just wants to come here to learn trades like cosmetology and aviation and things of that sort. Now, I spoke with the students and some of the um, staff here, and they tell me why they believe enrollment is so high. Take a listen. Philomena and Elizabeth Kakovic are seniors at Mahoning County Career and Technical Center High School and the only females in their electrician program. Twins with the same passion for the trades. Well, my dad's in a construction business, so like he was kind of pushing us to do it and I thought it was going to be like not fun. I thought it was going to be kind of boring, but when I, once I got into it, I was really excited for it. They say the learning environment is much different than your typical high school. At my home school, it was like kind of difficult for me because like there was like so much more like stuff I had to learn, but here everything is like easier for me and I have like good grades here and it just like changed my life like completely. These girls are the lucky ones. The program they are in has a wait list of at least 40 students from the area. Not only do we have waiting lists for electricity and cosmetology and welding, but now we have waiting lists for um, cybersecurity and we have waiting lists for creative arts and design. Jessica Seen is the marketing director and she told me that career tech schools have changed and they now offer classes that go towards an associate's degree. By the time you step foot on a college campus, you're light years ahead of everybody else. The superintendent says many local businesses look to hire these highly skilled students even prior to graduation. They're looking at our juniors at the end of their junior year. Um, they're recruiting them to come and work into their, into their companies and businesses. Seen tells me they are full for this coming fall. However, things can change and spots can open up. Now, if you're interested, you can come take a tour of this facility behind me and see if it will be a good fit. Live in Canfield, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News.